Good morning. Welcome to my Learn with Tom Lee. And today I want to start a new channel, Spanish Essential, Espanol Essentials, Saibanga In this series of videos, I want to start the Spanish from the very beginnings. And in chapter one, I want to start with the cardinals and ordinal number, how to expressing dates, telling type, and part of speech in Spanish. You will learn Principio and Espanol, the very beginnings in Spanish, Numero Cardinales y Ordinales, the cardinal number and the ordinal numbers. Expresando fechas, expressing dates in Spanish, decir la hora, telling the type in Spanish. La categoría, gramatical, the grammatical categories, that means the parts of speech. Numero Cardinales, cardinal number. Sometimes you need the cardinal number to count, for example, one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. To talk about the pies, to tell the time to the other people, or to write a check. You need ordinal numbers to tell which floor you are living on, to talk about the orders of something. For example, I am the first in the class. I am living in the fifth floor of this building, etc. Numero cardinales. Cardinal number from zero to ten. Zero, zero, one, uno, two, dos, three, tres, four, cuatro, five, cinco, six, seis, seven, siete, eight, ocho, nine, nueve, ten, diez, zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Zero, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Diez, nueve, ocho, siete, seis, cinco, cuatro. Tres, dos, uno, cero. From eleven to twenty. Eleven, once, twelve, doce, thirteen, trece, fourteen, catorce, fifteen, quince, sixteen, dieciséis. And how this word is cut from? The actual word of dieciséis is Yes, e says, and we change this y into i, and this z into c. Then we combine these words together. We got d s e says, and we add an accent above the e, so we get the words d s e says sixteen. This is same with the d s e c at the seventeen. And also ds e c at the actual word is ds e c at and then we change the z to c, then we change the y to i, and then we combine these three words into one, so we get ds c at seventeen, eighteen ds c ocho. Nineteen, diecinueve, twenty, prende. Try again. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Once, doce, trece, catorce, quince, dieciséis, diecisiete. Dieciocho, diecinueve, veinte, twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, and eleven. Prende, diecinueve, dieciocho, diecisiete, dieciséis, quince, catorce, trece, doce, y once. Then from twenty-one to thirty. Twenty-one, veintiuno, 
and how this word it come from this word is actually come from ben de e uno then we change this y into i and we cancel this e out because it's two vowels so we cancel one of the vowel and then we combine these two words together and we get bendi uno of course it, this one is changed to non capital letter bendi uno bende e uno and we change to bendi uno 21 22 bendi dos the words is also come from bende e dos and then we change this y into i we cancel out this e and then we combine this three word together into one word and remember in the bandy doors we change the o with an accent on it so we get bandy doors 23 bandy dress and also we get an accent about the e Brandy Des, 24, Bendy Quadro, 25, Bendy Cinco, 26, Bendy Seis, 27, Bendy Siete, 28, Bendy Ocho, 29, Bendy Nueve, 30, 30, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Bendi uno, bendi dos, bendi tres, bendi cuatro, bendi cinco, bendi seis, bendi siete, bendi ocho, bendi nueve, y tenta. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, and 21. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, y 21. And now we continue to count from 31, 32, 33, 40 to 100. 31, 30, y 1. And this was we just add up the 30, 30, y uno and one so 41 is actually in spanish is 30 and one tendra y uno 32 trenta y dos 34 trenta y tres 34 trenta y cuatro 35 trenta y cinco and etc until 39 trenta y nueve we have a word for 40 is cuarenta 40 cuarenta 50, 50, 60, 60, 70, 70, 80, 80, 90, 90, 100, 100, or 100. And you have to remember that in English we may say 100, but in Spanish we don't read uno 100, we just read 100 or 100. 31, 32, 33, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 31, 32, 33, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 100, 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 33, 32, 31, 100, 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 33, 32, 31. And how about if you want to say 52, you just add 50, 50, and 2, 52 is 52. And etc. Okay, let's read more numbers. One hundred and one, one hundred and two, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred, 
and 1,000. Siendo uno. And you can see that if you read 100, it is cien or ciento. But if you have 101, so you read siendo uno. You don't need the e uno. In English, we may say 101, but in Spanish, we just say 101. We don't need n between the two words. Ciento uno. 102, ciento dos. 103, ciento tres. 104, ciento cuatro, and etc. 200, doscientos. 200 is actually from two words dos, ciento. And cientos, we have to add an s after that. And then we combine these two words together. We got one word, 200. Doscientos, three hundreds, trescientos. Also, it's come from these two words, trescientos, trescientos, cuatrocientos, four hundreds, five hundreds, quinientos. This word is special. We don't add cinco y ciento. We just change into one word is quinientos, five hundreds, six hundreds, seiscientos, seven hundreds is a special word. We don't ask siete y cientos. We have a word for seven hundreds. It's siete ciento, seven hundreds. Ocho ciento, eight hundreds. And nine hundreds is also a special word. It's no be cientos, nine hundreds. And mil, mil is one thousand. We don't need to use un mil or uno mil. We just say thousand in Spanish. 1,000. So try again. 101. Ciento uno. 102. Ciento dos. 103. Ciento tres. 200. Doscientos. 300. Trescientos. 400. Cuatrocientos. 500. Quinientos. 600. Seiscientos. 700. Setecientos. 800. Ochocientos. 900, no pesientos, 1,000, mil, 101, 102, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, and 1,000. 101, 102, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 800. No pesiendo, mil, one thousand, nine hundred, eight hundred, seven hundred, six hundred, five hundred, four hundred, three hundred, two hundred, one hundred and two, one hundred and one. Mil, no pesiendo, ocho ciento, siete ciento, seis ciento, quinientos, cuatro ciento, tres ciento, dos ciento, ciento dos, ciento uno, and etc. And we continue from 2,000 to 3 million and 1. And before I continue, I have to remind you that if we write the numbers in Spanish, the 2,000, we write it like this, 2,000, 2.000. You may say that when we write it in English, we may write 2,000 as the numbers of 2,000. We use a comma to separate the 1,000 and the hundreds digits. But in Spanish, we use the dot to separate the thousand and the hundreds digits. So this one, you should be very careful. Two thousands, dos mil. And in here, the dos mil is not the dos mil. We don't use plural after the thousand mil. So we just use dos mil. Three thousand, tres mil. Four thousand, cuatro mil. Five thousand, cinco mil etc. 100,000. In English, we may say 100,000, but in Spanish, we just say 100,000, not 100,000, 100,000, 100,000, 200,000, 200,000, because this one is two, so the 100 have to change to 100,000, 200,000, 200,000. 
one million, un million. Because million is a masculine noun, so we don't use una million or una million. The number unos, when it comes before a masculine noun like million, million, we have to drop the O's after the uno, so we got un million, not una million. Two million, those millones. When we change singular nouns of million into a plural noun, we add ES at the end, and we cancel out the essence above the O, so we got those millones. And remember, when we see two L together, the pronunciation of this two L is not like English la. So we don't read un milon, we read un million. And the two L's just sounds like Y or J in English. Those millones, two million, three million and one. Tres millones y uno. If you remember, we don't need an N within the million and the one. So we just say tres millones unos. Three million one. That means three million and one. Okay, after we have learned all the cardinal numbers of Spanish, we are going to do some exercise. So I have provided you with different number here and you should try to use Spanish to read this number out. So 972, so the answer should be Nobesiendo Sedenda Idos. And one dog three four two and just remind you this dog is the separators of the thousand and the hundreds in space. So one dog three four two is mean one thousand three hundred and forty two. One thousand is mil three hundred trescientos forty two cuarenta y dos so mil trescientos cuarenta y dos so the answer mil trescientos cuarenta y dos one thousand nine hundred and ninety seven mil novecientos noventa y siete mil novecientos noventa y siete two thousand eight hundred and seventy four those mil and you remember this this mil have no s after is ochocientos setenta y cuatro one million two hundred eighty four thousand and two hundred thirty five million doscientos ochenta y cuatro mil doscientos treinta y cinco sixty seven sesenta y siete three hundred fifty six trescientos cincuenta y seis seventy two Sedecienda y dos. Twenty one. Bendi uno. Nineteen. Diecinueve. One hundred and eleven. Cien once. Nine hundred and eleven. Nobesiendo once. After this exercise, you can also read out any numbers and try to use Spanish to write it down. Well, before we are going on to study the ordinal number, let me see the rules in using cardinal number. Rules number one, uno, one, used only when counting, become un before a masculine noun and una before a feminine noun. When you learn Spanish, you have to know that the noun in Spanish have two forms, a muscular form and a feminized form. When you talk about a book, a book is liberal and liberals is the masculine noun. So when you talk about one book, you have to use un libro. So uno is only used when you count number. And if you want to search one book or one house or one room, you have to know that the noun is feminine or masculine. If the noun is masculine, you change the uno into un. And if the noun is feminine, you change the uno into una. For example, when you counting number, you say uno, dos, tres. One, two, and three. Un niño y una niña. Niño is a boy, so you change the una into un, and niña is a girl, you change the uno into una. Sixty-one dollars. Sesenta y un dólares. This is a plural noun, but you also use un rather than unos. 
21 people bendi una bendi e una so you change the bendi uno into bendi una because this number is before a feminized noun bendi una personal rule number 2 you use the conjunction e mean n only for numbers between 16 and 99 you don't use it directly after hundreds let's say ochenta y ocho 88 doscientos treinta y siete 237 ciento uno you don't add the e between these two words you don't say ciento y uno you just say ciento unos doscientos tres you don't add e between these two words you say doscientos tres not doscientos y tres 406 406 not cuatrocientos y seis so after the hundreds you don't add e between them you add e between the counting from 16 to 99 not after hundreds this is the second rule the first rule you generally write the number 16 through 19 and 21 through 29 as one word not three words the number 16 22 23 26 have an accent on the last syllable let's say 16 dsc says the actual word is dse says and you change it to one word dsc says and you add an accent above the letter e 22 bandidos also have an accent above the o 23 bandidos and an accent above the e 26 bandidos this is rule number three. Rule number four. When used before a masculine noun, the word bendi unos become the word bendi un has an essence on the last syllables. Bendi un dies, 21 days. Siendo, 100, becomes cien before the nouns of either gender and before the number mil, thousand, and millones, million. Before all other number, you use siendos. Un, which you don't use before the cien or siendo or mil, comes before millions. That means un is come before millón, not the mil or siendo. When a noun follow millón, you put the preposition there between millions and the noun. Millón's job is essence in the plural form millones. Let's see some example. Cien sumberos, 100 hat. You don't use cien do, and you don't use un cien sumbero. You just say cien sumbero. Cien busa. Busa is a feminist noun. You also use cien in two k, the masculine or the feminine. Cien mil, mia. Before the mil, you use cien not un cien or cien do. you just use cien cien means one hundred thousand mia one hundred thousand miles cien millones you can see hundreds million cien millones de dollars you add the de between the nouns and the millones just like this you put the preposition de they mean of you put the preposition de between million and the noun. This is the preposition de mean of between millones and dollars. Cien millones de dollars. One hundred millions dollars. Rule number five. Compounds of cientos, doscientos, trescientos must change to agree with a feminized noun. The noun is masculine. 400 muchachos, 400 muchachos. That means 400 boys. 600 muchachas. Because this is a feminized noun, so you change the 600 into 600. With numerals and decimals, Spanish use commas, where English use periods, and vice versa. Let's say, in English, we write 6, 000, means 6,000. And in Spanish, we write 6.00. This means 6,000. 0.75 in English, 
we use 0, 0.75, that means 0 0.75 in English. And in the dollars, we write 14 $14.99, $14.99, but in Spanish, we write 14 comma six nine nine that means fourteen dollars and ninety nine cents so you have to remember this is a very significant difference between Spanish and English okay after all this cardinal number I will leave you to the ordinal number in the next section okay if you think this video is good and can help you please subscribe and give like so you press the button at the lower right corner to subscribe and remember, when I have a new videos, you better click the bell shelf and see the new video. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Again, thank you very much for listening to my tutorial videos. And if you need a private tutor for you to get a better mark or better score in your DSC examination in Hong Kong, the SAT examination, or just you want to improve your mathematics and English for your college and university study, please contact me at chingtom929 at yahoo.com.hk My telephone number is plus one eight five two six five nine two eight six zero nine. 好多謝大家收聽我這個影片如果你希望你的math私人的補習是這兩方面的多謝大家 Thank you Bye bye Muchas gracias